Oh, Archie Luxury here, Sawtooth. Okay, fuckers, I'm doing a viewer email. George Daniel Marshall. Hi, Arch. I hope you're feeling better. Yeah, I think I'm not feeling that much better. I wanted to drop you a quick note on below. Also, I purchased another piece yesterday. Amended collection below. Take care, George. Okay, hi, Arch. I hope all is well. Sent you $20. Uh, and also sent you another payment of 30. Thank you. A photo of my living collection is attached. Sold. 2013 Carrera Twin Time. A wedding gift from my wife. Please don't repeat. I just want you to know I asked for a man on the moon. Fuck me dead. These bitches never get nothing right. Sold. 2010. Super Ocean Absis. I purchased new for twenty four hundred. First luxury ish watch buy at twenty four. Listed for thirty nine. Enjoyed it and sold it for seventeen hundred a month later. Current living collection in order of date purchase. All pre owned by a good and honest independent dealer. Okay. 2012, this is when he purchased them. He bought a 1997 Rolex 16710 Pepsi. I rotate the black bezel on there every six months or so. 2013, he got a 1956 Omega 2802 8SC Seamaster Auto. 2014, a 1969 Omega Dynamic Manual. 2015, he, I think this is what he wants. Oh no, this is he's got some substance there. A nineteen ninety nine Omega thirty five sixty. Two thousand and seven Omega two five three one. Two thousand and three and a Rolex fourteen oh six OM. 1999, a Rolex 14270 Explorer 1, and a 1999 Panerai Pam 90. Fuck, okay, so in, in, I'm just a bit confused. This is a bit confusing how he's mapped all this fucking shit out, particularly with my tooth being sore. Ah, uh, fuck. How many fucking pieces has this fucker got? Fuck me dead. Uh, so so let, let, this, this is getting too fucking confusing, George. My God, what the fuck do you own here? Okay, so you've got... you got the... you got the Pepsi GMT Master 2. Cool. You've got a... you got a vintage Amiga. Not such a big fan on that, George. 1969 Amiga Dynamic Manual. Also not such a big fan of that. You got a Amiga 3560. I wish you'd just give me the fucking model numbers, man. This is fucking painful to work out. I think that's your... That's your Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. Cool, that's okay. You got a Rolex... Uh... 14060M, that's your Explorer 1. Yep, that's okay. You got a Rolex 14270, that, sorry. The 14060M is your no date sub. Your 14270 is your Explorer 1. And you got a PAM. So let's count these fuckers up. How many of these fucking cunts have you got? You got. Fuck me. This, this is too confusing, George. This is shit. Man, just give me, give me, give me the fucking, don't give me the war in peace. Just tell me what the fuck you've got there. So, fuck me dead. I'm just trying to work this shit out. It's fucking impossible. You got the, the Pepsi, you got the, let's look at your Rolexes. You got your, your Pepsi, GMT. You got a Rolex, no date sub. And you've got a Rolex Explorer 1. Okay, three decent Rolexes. Cool. You've got a old Seamaster. It's a piece of shit. 
You got an Amiga Dynamic. Again, don't like those two vintagey. Fuck them off. They're not worth a lot. Get rid of them. The two Amigas. You got the. You got a. Uh, you got a Seamaster and you got a Speedmaster. That's okay. And you got a Pam. That that's okay. Okay. Okay, so let's look at this shit. So what were, you were asked the question, what should I sell? Get rid of the fucking Amiga Dynamic and get rid of that vintage piece of shit, Amiga. That's just fucking... They're just... They're cheap for a good reason, George. No cunt wants them. No cunt wants them. That's why they're cheap. Um, okay. You got three nice Rolexes. You got the GMT, Explorer 1, and you got the fucking No Date Sub. You got two good Amigas, the Seamaster and the Speedmaster. You got a Pam, which which I, I don't mind in your collection, that's okay. Get rid of that dynamic and get rid of that vintage fucking Seamaster. That's what's what I'd do. Okay, looking at adding a Patek 50. This is now George! Fuck me dead! I don't know what the hell are you doing. Are you selling cocaine or what? Because do you know how expensive a fucking Patek 5056A or a 5164 is. The JLC Memovox Alarm Vintage. Uh, you know how hard it is to get parts for those cunts? A Jega La Culture Reverso. Grand. Yep, yeah, that's okay. Explorer 2. Polar. That's okay. An AP Royal Oak. Forget the AP. They're fucking trouble. And a 5513. Man, if I were you, what I tell you what I'd do, okay? Get rid of the dynamic and your vintage fucking Omega. Forget the Patex, that's big money, man. Unless you're fucking, I don't know what work you're in, but fuck, that's expensive shit. Forget the memo box, that's trouble. I mean, those vintage memo boxes, you never get fucking parts for them. The Re Jager La Cultura Reverso, that's a good idea. Stainless steel manual on a strap, that's a cool idea. Explorer 2 Polar, that's a good idea. Forget the AP, that's trouble. 5513, uh, I wouldn't go for it. Vintagey thing, that's what I reckon you should do there. Fuck me dead. Now, now, let, let, let's, now that we've dissected war and peace here, fuck me dead. This is hard to fucking work out this shit. Fuck me dead. It's, now he goes on to say, what should I told you what you should sell. What should you add? I've told you what you should add. And most importantly, what kind of person does my what kind of person does my collection say about me? About I am. It says you're needy. Anyone who needs to ask that question is needy, insecure. That's what they fucking and men, men don't ask that sort of question, George. Fuck, George. That's, that's not a cool... It, I mean, that's like saying, does it make me cool? It, that, as soon as someone says, I'm so cool, it means you're not cool. Fuck me, Dad. I don't know what to fucking say to these cunts tonight. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to fucking say, George. Come on, man. You, you don't ask those sort of questions. What is, it says you're needy. Anyone who asks questions like that, they're needy. It's not a good thing, man. I, I mean, fuck. Get rid of the fucking dynamic and get rid of the vintage Amiga Seamaster. It's shit as far as I'm concerned. Three nice Rolexes. Two Omegas and a Panerai. Yeah, it's a nice little collection. What do you mean by what does it say about... What the fuck? What the fuck do you want it to say about you? What the fuck do you want? Watches don't make, you know, you can be a tool and own those watches. It doesn't make you cool because you've got those watches there, man. That's a fucking uncool thing to say. It's just so fucking uncool. I don't know what to say to you cunts. On another note, what are your thoughts on tour of Byron Bay? Oh, he's asking me if I want to go there. Yeah, look, George, I'll consider anything for free. I'm a prostitute. I do everything for free. I'm desperately trying to survive. I got fucking expensive dental work. 
I'm just not in the mood for this fucking, what sort of, what, what, what kind of person does my collection say I am? It says you're needy. Who asked that sort of question, man? <laughs> Fuck me dead. Fuck me dead. I mean, who asked that sort of question? You know, it's like a chick. A chick who says to you, you know, a chick, you're going out with a bird, right? And she says, oh, what did you think when I first... Why well, you fucked me dead? The mere fact that I've run you up back says that I think you're pretty good. I wouldn't waste my fucking, fucking time with you if, if, if you weren't cool, honey. Man, real blokes don't ask questions like that. That's... I'm sorry, George. I'm just saying to you, man, it's just... Fuck, it's just not the cool, done thing. I'm Archie Luxury, I've got a toothache. I'm shitted off. The world sucks. See you later, fuckers. Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, and today I'd like to introduce a new sponsor to the program. Tapeline. That's right. Tapeline. And their website is www.tapeline.info. And these people here, can you believe this? They sell old cassette tapes. That's right. They, they manufacture tapes. That's right. And they sell 10,000 a week of these things. Can you believe that? Uh, it's really quite, quite interesting stuff. Uh, it's really, really interesting. And, I mean, can you believe people would still want tapes? Fuck me dead. This is, uh, this is fucking amazing. I mean, you think we live in a digital age. No, there's fuckers who still want tapes. And it's really, really cool shit. They've got all sorts, types of hard-to-find tapes and shit like that. They've, so some of their prices are fantastic. They ship anywhere in the world. There's hardly anyone else doing this kind of crap. And also, you know, they, they try their best to get this shit out as soon as possible. Now, the company's called Tapeline. They're based in Stockport, England. In the north, governor! In the north. And they've been doing this for over 30 years. Tapeline. Tapeline. Proud sponsors of the Archie Luxury Channel. Tapeline. Dot I-N-F-O. See you later.